welcome your presence, Jesus. Your presence, Jesus. Let your presence, let the Holy Spirit fall upon this place. I am asking your presence, God. You have presence, God. Let your presence fall upon this place in the mighty name of Jesus. God, my Father, I want to thank you. I want to bless your name. I give all the glory, God. You are wonderful. Wonderful Father, I give glory and honor. I thank you. Thank you, Jesus. I welcome you. I commit this prayer into your hand. Lord, I commit everyone that has come to this meeting to, to this morning, this hour, in the mighty name of Jesus, I bring them to your hand. I pray, God, my Father, anyone that is tormented by sickness and diseases, let it be destroyed in the name of Jesus. I pull down the stronghold of conviction in your life. I pull down every sickness that is tormenting you, that is attacking you. Let it be destroyed in Jesus' name. I bind every city of conviction in your life by the and the break down in the name of Jesus. I break them, I destroy them. Let the storm of conviction within your mind be still in the name of Jesus. Every cloud of conviction that has involved your mind, a father away now, a father away now in the mighty name of Jesus. I reject every storm of conviction and claim a sound minded in the name of Jesus. Every storm of conviction and your mind has been confused. When you are woke up, you can't think properly. You are so much confused. I command them to bow down and be destroyed in Jesus' name. I command the voice of conviction to be silenced and be led and powerless in the name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus. Lord, I want to thank you. I bless your name. I lift your name up. I acknowledge your name. I give you all the glory. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, we pray. Amen. Amen. Thank you very much. I want to welcome you once again. This is your host, Prophetess Dr. Christine Sigi, uh, uh, from Overcomers Deliverance and Healing Ministry. We are a spiritual warfare prayers, and we are here. I'm here to pray to God to restore back everything you have lost, every sickness, diseases, uh, mental illness, spiritual disorders. Some people are going through spiritual disorder. They have no idea what is going in their mind. You may see people, they wear three-piece suit, but their mind is damaged. Their head is damaged. They can't function properly. They can't think properly. You see people driving. Yes, but their head is damaged. They are being sick. They are sick. Yeah? You see, people have chronic diseases, chronic physical diseases. It cannot be healed. It has been there. You call it my sickness. You call it my diseases. So I pray that God will restore back in the mighty name of Jesus. Agnes, Amen. open the book of Jeremiah 8. Yes. Jeremiah 8, verse 19, to 19, 21, and 22. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Agnes, open the book of Jeremiah 8, 19, 21 and 22. Thank you, Jesus. Okay. Yes. Hallelujah. 21 and 22. Yes. Okay. 21 and 22. Okay. For the hurt of the daughter of my people, I am hurt. I am mourning. Astonishment has taken hold of me. Is there no bam in Gilead? Is there no physician there? Why then is there no recovery for the health of the daughter of my people? Amen. The Bible is asking, Behold the voice of the cry of the daughter of my people, because because of them that dwell in a far country is not the lord in zion is not god in zion does it mean god is not there why is people suffering like this why is the people are being attacked by demons why are people are being i cannot be restored why is it people that have been sick and 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 dying does it mean there is no god Amen. yes Hallelujah. It's not, it's not a king in her. For the heart of the daughter of my people, I am assized with the anxious. Is there no bomb, bomb in Gideon? Is there no physician there? Why then has the health of the daughter of my people not been restored? 
Jesus Christ has come to restore your health. Jesus Christ has come to restore your health. Jesus Christ is a physician. There is a physician. There is a doctor. There is such a God in heaven. There is a doctor who can operate you and restore back your health. There is a doctor who can make that mind suffer and be, 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 be held back. There is a God who can operate your heart and replace a new one. There is a surgeon in heaven. There is angels. Is Their work is to operate. They are surgeon. They are angels. Their work is to heal you. They are angels. Their work is to inject you, inject you with the injecting of the blood of Jesus and you will be healed. So the question is, does it mean that there is no physician? Yes, the physician is there. Jesus Christ is a physician. He's going to restore back your mental challenge, mental illness, your children, your family, people who have been attacked by mental challenge. They are suffering from schizophrenia. They are suffering from 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 a bipolar. They are suffering from different sickness and diseases in in a in a in mental disorder. In the mighty name of Jesus, 2017 is a year that you don't have to carry any sickness and diseases in your body. It will be furnished. God is will restore back your house in the mighty name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Praise be the name of Jesus. We thank God that God is able to restore back your mind, to restore back everything that you have lost in the hands of the enemy. In the mighty name of Jesus. People, they don't think properly. Even the president of the world, many of them, they are sick and mad. They are ment mentally sick. They are mad. They are taking very high doses of men uh, uh, to cool them down. M all the ministers, many people are sick, mental sick, completely sick. We pray that God will touch them and heal them in the mighty name of Jesus. Uh, Agnes, go to the book of Mark 5, Mark 5, from verse 1 to 19. Mark 5. Hallelujah. Yes, Lord. Thank you, Father. Every chronic diseases, every chronic sickness, HIV, AIDS, some other crippled diseases shall die in the name of Jesus. Go ahead, my sister. Yes. Mark 5, 1 to 19. 19. Yes. Just read one, by, one at a time. I will explain it. Okay. Then they came to the other side of the sea, to the country of the Gardeans. And when he had come out of the boat, immediately there met him out of the tomb a man with an unclean spirit. Stop there. Stop there. Hallelujah. And when he had, you know, Jesus has come from the other side in the country called Gardenia, Gardeneas. And when he had come out of the boat, immediately they had met him, uh, met him out of the tombs, a man with an unclean spirit. Here is Jesus. Jesus met an, a man who had an unclean spirit. He, the man was living in the tombs. He was living in the graveyard. That is where the, the man was living. And immediately, immediately, When he, he came out from the boat, the man met out of the tombs, man with unclean spirit. Go on, sister. Yes, Who had him dwelling among the tombs, and no one could bind him, not even with chains. Yes, you see, no one, no one could, could bind him. He was living in the tomb, and no one can pass there. He was very aggressive. This man was suffering from schizophrenia. He was suffering from the He was he was being a very aggressive person. Now this person, not even with chains, no one could chain him. It was bad to that the, the person. The man was very. It was very terrible. He was suffering. He had mental illness, mental really bad one. Go on, go ahead, my sister. Because he had often been bound with shackles and chains, and the chains had been pulled apart by him, and the shackles broken in pieces. Amen. You see? Untame him. You see? The man was being chained with vetas, with a strong chain, but he could break them, he could tie them, no, he could not hold him. That, that is how terrible this man was suffering. It is, it, it is very serious. 
some people you you are being tormented you are you are in your house in spiritual spiritually you have been tight you have been tied your hands you have been you have been you have been surrounded by demons that torment you your deeds is hurting you your deeds is hurting you your head is burning you you have this permanent headache you cannot be think properly your ears are tormenting you your eyes are problem your nose you are bleeding everywhere you are just you can't breathe properly you are, you are you have chest problem you have so much sickness in your body right now and your bones your your shoulders your back all this it was it is a tormenting now this man he was suffering so much he had the chain they chain him but the chain could he could tear it to pieces yes Amen. my god god is good Go on, sister, first five. And always, night and day, he was in the mountain and in the tomb, crying out and cutting himself. Yes, always, it was, it was, it always. And, and and always night and day he was in the mountains and in the tombs crying and cutting himself with stones. You know, Sophia people, that is what they do. They cut themselves. They cry. They they cry. You don't you don't beat them, but they cry. They make noise. You will hear somebody making noise, crying or shouting, and sometimes you find somebody running. It doesn't stop. Run, 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 run. It, it is a very aggressive and demon that is very evil that that that, that people are going through some some of you you have family you. you have you have even yourself you can be a family you can have yourself your family all being tormented by this bipolar schizophrenia uh, disorder and they and and they are locked a very serious person like that they lock them in a place in a hospital or a home where he cannot come out because he's a dangerous person he lives in the mountains and in the tombs and he was crying day and night at night you can hear him crying at daytime you, he was not resting he was not resting at all he suffered a lot therefore restoration is coming jesus is going to heal you jesus is going to set it free if our, our jesus the messiah the king who was born 2007 and 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 16 years ago jesus christ will restore back your health in the mighty name of jesus go on my sister and when he saw jesus from afar he ran and worshiped him. Amen. Amen. Now here, now here is a trick. Here, here, here there is a trick. Repeat that script again, my sister. Amen. When he saw Jesus from afar, he ran and worshiped him. Mm -hmm. Continue. And he cried out with a loud voice and said, What have I to do with you? Jesus, son of the Most High God, I implore you by God that you do not torment me. Amen, amen. You see, now here is the trick. This man, a mad man, a Sophonia man, is a Bible man who was very terrible, very serious man. When he saw Jesus from far, far he ran and worship him. He ran to him and worship him. Now here is a problem and he cried out with a loud voice and saying what have I to do with you Jesus son of the most high God you know what this enemy is a liar now when he reaches to the Jesus feet he was clear the demon quiet this quiet the, 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 the man was clear his mad, mad, madness was clear and he said Jesus and they cry out loud and said, What have I to do with you, Jesus? Son of what have I to do with you, Jesus? The demon is now speaking. He's telling Jesus that, Jesus, what do I do with you? Uh, he's asking, he's, uh, the demon is asking Jesus. Now, the demon has pretended that there is nothing. You know, some people, most people are suffering with schizophrenia, uh, 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 mental illness. 
you cannot help them most of them it's very difficult to help them because they can go ahead of you sometimes they can they call you, you they want to pray after you want to pray they can preach to you they can tell you things they can do things to to, to block you not to pray for them or not to tell them what you want to say now this man he, he started talking asking jesus as if jesus is the one who needs help you know jesus does not need help from the madman now there's some people who are like that you when you they need help they, you can't help them they are the one to help you and they are sick and and they have problem they have mental illness they have a big problem their, their family is scattered but the person cannot let you help the person cannot let you to help the person now here this man he was asking jesus what have i to do with you what have i to do with you jesus son of the most high god now he addressed jesus very well he addressed him like that you are jesus pastor prophet prophetess prophet what i know you are this the, the woman of god prophet you prophetess i know you are a woman of god prophet i know you are a man of god that's how they they talk nice they talk nice they pretend that there is nothing you see now uh, uh, and said, I uh, uh, he went as far as said, You be by, by that, you do not torment. It. So he told, he told Jesus, I know, don't torment me, don't do me anything. Now he said, Don't torment me. He's, he's ordering Jesus uh, that Jesus do not torment me. This man is now talking because he wants to live in such a life, he wants to live in the tomb and the mountain suffering there. Now he's broken Jesus not to torment him. Uh, go ahead, my sister. Verse 8. For he said to him, Come out of the man, unclean spirit. Then he asked him, What is your name? And he answered, saying, My name is Legion, for we are many. Also he begged him earnestly that he would not send them out. Amen. Stop there. You see? Now, Jesus replied him. Jesus addressed the demon that is, was talking to him. He, Jesus don't, he didn't waste the time. He commanded them, come out of the man. You unclean spirit, come out of the man. I command every demon operating in your life right now. Come out of the woman. Come out of the child. Come out of the man. Come out of the woman. Come out of the child right now in the mighty name of Jesus. Jesus commanded the demon to come out of the man. And, the, and Jesus asked them, what is your name? Who are you? You demon, who are you operating this life of this person? The man now, he replied and he gave his name. He said, my name is Legion, because for we are many. Also, he begged him honestly that he would not send them out of the country. So these demons, they tell their name and they say there are many. But Jesus and a beg Jesus, don't send them away because they, they were worried that this man is one to torment us, is one to send us away. The demon wants to live in you, tormenting you. They don't want to go. That's why many of you, you cannot be broken. You are always ahead of your pastor. You are always ahead of God. You are always ahead of, 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 of God himself. You go and help God. Instead of God to help you, you run and help God. You run and help Jesus. You run and help your pastor. Your pastor has been called, has been has there to help you. But because of your mental illness, you are challenging, you go ahead. You know this man tried everything. But all in all, Jesus did, did, didn't do anything because he, he said you need help. Jesus told this man, even if you tell me what, you need help. Okay. Verse, verse 11, my sister. Now a large herd of swine was feeding there near the mountain. So all the demons begged him, saying, Send us to the swine that we may enter them. Yes, and stop there, Jesus stop there. Now, permission. Amen. Now, then the Hallelujah. Praise be the name of Jesus. I want to thank God because God is a is, is power of God. Now the right head of swan was feeding there near by the mountain. There was big, big, they were near by the mountain. So all the demons begged him. Now 
all those demons, six six thousand demons. You know, they, they, they were many, they were rich only. Rich only is six thousand demons in the man. Now they begged him and said, Send us to the swan, send us to the beast, that we may enter them. They begged him, they asked permission. They they wanted to get a place where they can go because they feel like they can they can live with the man, but they need a place, they need a body, they need a place to live. And then the demon were very smart. They they wanted to enter into the beat and go, go home and torment to transfer to, to those people. If two thousand beats, they all those demons enter into them. They and they, they, they go to the to their home to their country. Now all those demons they could be so many people could be having that sickness, the disease of uh, of Sasafinia and 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 the bipolar. He, mental illness. Now Jesus said, "Okay, eh, go, 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 enter. I don't refuse. You go." And what happened? Fast thirteen. And at once Jesus gave them permission. Then the unclean spirit went out and entered the swine. There were about two thousand, and the herd ran violently down the steep. Amen. Now Jesus, Jesus. Jesus gave them permission, said, yes, I am giving you permission. Go and enter in those pigs, 2,000 pigs. And then the Bible says, the pigs, they, they, they become very uh, violently. They drown them, they, they, they become violent and they, they run to the sea and they drown in the sea. They drown there and die there, all of them. Because they can't go back to people, they could destroy people, they could have affect all those women could come from the bigs and enter into the people. And the people could have sick and, and have terrible problem like that man. And the man was healed. Fast 14. So those who fed the swine fled, and they told it in the city and in the country. And they went out to see what it was that had happened. Yes, people saw, people witnessed what happened. The man who was suffering is now clean, is healed, his mind is, is dead, is dead. The pigs have run, have run mad and run to the sea and drawn there, all of them. Continue, sister. Then they came to Jesus and saw the one who had been demon-possessed and had the legion sitting and clothed and in his right mind and they were afraid mm -hmm. continue and those who saw it told them how it happened to him who had been demon possessed and about the swine mm -hmm. continue then they began to plead with him to depart from their region and mm -hmm. when he got into the boat he who had been demon possessed begged him that he might be with him. Continue. However, Jesus did not permit him, but said to him, Go home to your friends and tell them what great things the Lord has done for you and how he has had some on you. Amen. God bless your word. You know, when people saw what happened to this man, the man is minded was clear, his mind his mind was was light, and they were afraid. The people were afraid. So they begged Jesus, get out from this city, go away from the, our place. The people they wanted that man to suffer. Anybody that wants you to suffer, anybody that, that does not want you to have peace, anybody that does mm. not want you to be healed, let them scattered and be destroyed in Jesus' name. Amen. Now, people, Amen. the people who are afraid and instead of happy, you know, some people they are not happy if you are if if you are well, they are happy when they see you suffer and sick and crying and pain in hospital. This is what is happening. The people, they saw how that this person was suffering. The animals, it is animals, they, they, God, God has given us dominion over the animals. The animals, they died, but people, they didn't even sympathy, they, did, they didn't praise God and say, oh, thank you God, that God has healed this man who has been suffering, a dangerous man who had made people not to pass where he was, but instead they chased Jesus away from you, from, from, the, from the place. 
Any body that is chasing you, chasing your Jesus from you, let them die. Any power that is attacking your life, any power that is making you to suffer, they don't want you to be happy, they don't want you to be healthy, let them be scattered, let them be destroyed in the name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus, every power that wants you to destroy your life, I command you to be destroyed in the mighty name of Jesus. Every false foundation in your life, I command them to receive fire of God in Jesus' name. I fire back every arrows fired into your life. I command them to, to go back to the sender in the mighty name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus, I command your mind to receive divine touch of God and be healed in the mighty name of Jesus. Lord, strengthens, Lord, let Lord strengthen you in your inner man and with your fire and the power in the name of Jesus. Let God strengthen you in your inner mind with the fire, with the fire of God and the power of Holy Ghost in the mighty name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus, every destruction prepared against your mind, I command them to catch fire. I command them to backfire, to be destroyed in Jesus' name. Go back to the sender in Jesus' name. I scatter unto pieces a very evil imagination against you. A very evil imagination against you. I command them to be defeated, to be scattered in the name of Jesus. I cast down and bring down to not a very demonic imagination against you and your family in Jesus' name. In the mighty name of Jesus, in the mighty name, I cast down, I brand and frustrate every satanic imagination against your life in Jesus' name. I take the authority by the power in the blood of Jesus over every evil thoughts in the mighty name of Jesus. Every evil thoughts operating in your life, satanic imagination operating in your life, let it be destroyed in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Hallelujah. Praise be the name of Jesus. God, you are so good, God. I love you, Jesus. My Father and my God, in the name of Jesus, I pull, oh Lord, my Father, I thank you, Jesus. I pull down every stronghold of the enemy over your life, in the mighty name of Jesus. I pull down and lost every demonic ladder the enemy is using to clamp onto your life, in the mighty name of Jesus. Every ladder the enemy is using to clamp your life, let it be destroyed. Let them catch fire. Let them be destroyed in Jesus' name. I come against every evil pronouncement made against you and your life. Made against your life. In the name of Jesus, I arrest and bind every satanic notebook written against your life. In the mighty name of Jesus, I cancel every, I cancel and nullify every imagination of enemy upon your life in the mighty name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus, I command your mind to become mind of Jesus. I command the mind to become the mind of Jesus. Anything to in your mind anything uh, uh, depressing you let your mind become the mind of jesus in the mighty name of amen. jesus christ we pray amen, amen. Uh, uh, open the book of psalms psalms 34 verse 17 to 20 hallelujah praise be the name of jesus yes my god father i thank you jesus you are a great God. I love you. I love you, Jesus. You are a great God. Restoration is coming back. Restoration for your health. In the mighty name of Jesus, that chronic diseases that has, 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 has been stubborn, they don't want to get out of your life. It will go in Jesus' name. You will go free, healthy. You will be healthy 2017. It is a here that you will be free from sickness and diseases, from oppression, from depression. In the mighty name of Jesus. Yes, go ahead and read the book of Psalms 34, verse 17 to 20. Hallelujah. Yes. The righteous cry out, and the Lord hears, and deliver them out of all their troubles. Yes. The righteous, the righteous cry, the Lord hears and delivers them out of their troubles. What trouble are you having? What are you suffering? What trouble do you have? Do you have any trouble? Do you have anything that you, you need God to deliver you? The Bible says, Amen. when the righteous cry for help, the Lord hears. When the righteous cry for help, the Lord hears and deliver them out of all their troubles. All, all. God is going to deliver you all your troubles. In the mighty name of Jesus. Go ahead, sister. The Lord is near to those who have a broken heart and save such as have a contrite spirit. Amen. Continue. 
Many are the afflictions of the righteous, but the Lord delivers him out of them all. Continue. He guards all his bones, not one of them is broken. Amen. The Lord is near to the brokenhearted and save the crushing in the spirit. You know brokenness. God is near. God needs brokenness. If you need God to help, humble yourself. Don't help God. Don't go to witchcraft that you are going to help God. Don't go to foodus, to the, the, the obvious, to occult people to, that you are helping you are helping God. God is looking for humble and and broken hearted. Brokenness needed to for, for you to be delivered, for you to be set free, to, for you to be healed, for you to get healed, to get a miracle, for you to be the, your heart to be restored, your finances to be healed. Some of you, Amen. you are suffering financially because of you can't be broken. Humble yourself. God is near to those who will humble yourself. If you you go for prayer, go for prayer. You don't have to help God. You don't have to help Jesus. You don't have to help the pastor. You need prayers. You humble, broken hearted. When your head is being damaged, your head is being uh, 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 destroyed, damaged. That is what happened. You cannot have the spirit of brokenness. You are always, blah, 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 blah. you go ahead than, than everything. Calm down. God will deliver you. That's why 2017, you need to talk. If you are used to talk 10,000 10, words per minute, reduce to become 1,000 words. Because these 10,000, all of them, they are garbage. And they are nothing. You have to reduce them. Because you talk, you talk until you tell the devil every information. You give them all your information. Jesus will deliver you in Jesus' name. Do not tell your enemy your secret. They will use against you. They will use against them against you and start tormenting you. The demon, the devil, they listen. The demon, they listen. What you are talking, what you are saying, and then they will use against you. You have to reduce. You have to run and broken. You have to be broken in the spirit. So that you, God can use you. So that you can be used. Some people, they call me and say, I have a dream. I have a dream like this. Now, I look at that the person because he talks a lot. He talks and, and he opens himself so much. So how, how can you not have the dreams? If you talk so much and making noise and, and you run, your head is ahead of everything. You calm down. God will help you. God is there and Jesus is going to restore the, you everything that has been uh, 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 crushed. Okay. Amen. Yes, God is going to help you. Yes, my brother. <laughs> Many are the affection of the righteous, but the Lord deliver him out of them all. He keeps all his bonds. Not one of them is broken. Yes. Many, many, many are affectionate. Many people are sick. Many people are mad. You see people in traveling, as I said, even the president, most of them, they are mad. They are sick. They are affected. But the Lord will deliver them all. But the Lord will heal them all. He keeps all his bonds. And not one of them will, it will be broken. In the mighty name of Jesus, I bring down every strong wall of uncontrollable thoughts in your life in the mighty name of Jesus. I cast down every evil imagination. I bring into captivity every end of your thoughts in your life to the obedience of Jesus Christ. I bring them into captivity. I command every talkative mind. You talkative mind. I capture you. I bring you to, to obedience of Jesus Christ. You must be obeyed the word of God. You must obey the word of the living God, God in Jesus name. I seal up every door of evil and contrarable thoughts in your life by the blood of Jesus in the mighty name of Jesus I, I command the demons of uncontrollable thoughts to, be, to release you and be de destroyed in Jesus name every uncontrolling de de uh, thoughts I command you to release you and die let that uncontrollable de demon to get out of your life in Jesus name do you know some people they are uncontrolled when something happened to them you can't control them you cannot talk to them. You, they can't hear you. Do you know that some people, they get really emotion and, they, and until they do something is when they can leave themselves. They get out of control. 
by the power and the blood of Jesus, I command every demon of uncontrollable and uncontrollable thoughts released in your life. I command them to die in the mighty name of Jesus. Yes, God, my Father. Hallelujah. Oh, yes, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Rada bashakara bakuraba. Rapa papa shakara bakuraba. Rapa papa shakara bakuraba. Roba papa shakara bakuraba. Rapa papa shakara bakuraba. Roba raba kuraba baba shakara bakuraba. Remba raba shakara bakuraba. Yes, Lord, my Father. In the name of Jesus, drink of blood and eat us of flesh. Hear the word of the Lord. Die by fire. Die by fire. Die, die, die. Die by fire. I am destroyed. Every drink of blood and eat us of flesh. Hear the word of God. I destroy you in the mighty name of Jesus. Every demon want to suck your blood. Every demon want to eat your flesh. Every demon want to eat you in the mighty name of Jesus. I cast them. I bind them in Jesus name. Amen. Yes. Yesterday, a brother called me, said he got accident, but he nearly died, but God delivered the person. There's this time of Christmas, time of holiday. The demon prepare, they want to drink blood, they want to eat your flesh. You will not be attacked of Christmas. You will not be sacrificed. Your children will not be sacrificed. Therefore, I come against the drinkers of blood and eaters of flesh to die, to be destroyed in Jesus' name, to drink their own blood and eat their own flesh in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. I am calling fire into your inner man. I command your inner man to receive fire in the mighty name of Jesus. Let your inner man to receive fire. Let your whole body to receive fire. Let your whole body to receive fire in your kid and your liver in your head. Receive fire. Receive fire. Your inner man receive fire. Let your inner man receive fire. Your inner man receive fire. Your inner man receive fire in the mighty name of Jesus. By the power that yield the patrimonio son of Demario. Oh God arise heal them they heal them heal them the power that healed but in my son of the mile oh god my father let god touch you touch the people god touch your people my father restore back their their their, 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 their health restore back their life restore back my father in the name of jesus oh yoke breaker break every yoke break every yoke break every yoke break every yoke jesus christ the yoke breaker break every yoke break every yoke break every yoke break every every yoke in your shoulder every yoke that is tying you down let jesus break them 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 in the mighty name of jesus the power of infirmity i command them to die every power of infirmity every infirmity in your body sickness and diseases i command them to die let them be roasted be roasted be roasted be roasted be roasted sickness and diseases you infirmity be roasted catch fire and burn to ashes in the name of jesus blood of jesus sanitize sanitize your blood let the blood of jesus sanitize your blood let the blood of jesus wash your blood let the blood of jesus cleanse your blood let the blood of jesus cleanse your blood every virus every demon operating your blood let the blood of jesus cleanse your blood blood of jesus cleanse your blood blood of jesus cleanse your blood in the mighty name of jesus bondage of infirmity break 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 bondage of infirmity the infirmity that the bondage that the infirmity has put you i command them to break 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 in the mighty name of jesus in the name of Jesus, I break down every infirmities. I break down bondage of infirmity. I break them down. I break them down. I break them down. I break them down. Down. I break them. I break. I break. I break them. Out bondage of infirmity. In the mighty name of Jesus, curses of infirmity break by fire. Break. 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 A bondage of infirmity. Curses of infirmity. There is some curses that has been pressed to you on you. That is called infirmity. That's why you have so much sickness in your body. All over your world. All, all over the world. And the body is having sickness. Curses of infirmity. You have so much sickness. You know some people, they have even 10 different sickness. They have so much, I can't even count them. They take a lot of drugs. I was praying for a lady in Arizona. I think in Arizona, I have said it before, these people, their family, they are lawyers, doctors, engineers, and herself, she works in a hospital. And now she's suffering with so many sickness, about the seven different sickness. After the prayer, the woman was healed. They didn't know what happened. Right now, yesterday, 
When I call her, when she called me, she said, Sister, Mama, I don't know what happened to me. I'm healed, I'm healed. Now she, she said, Please pray for my family. You know, they, they, she works in a hospital. She was one of the hospital manager or something. But she has been carrying, she has lost the weight until she become like bones. Now she was not even eating. And then she said, Oh my God, I'm eating. I, I The thing which was suffocating my, my throat, it, it has gone. I can drink, I can eat, I have no problem. Now I told her, Wait, the, you are going to gain weight uh, very fast. Because Jesus has destroyed the curses of infirmity that blessed on her. Uh, and, and this curses was blessed because the family went to witchcraft to get help. And that, because the family is rich, now the witchcraft saw that the way to to take everything from them is to put a, a sick a cast sickness in their children. The, this girl has been suffering, but God has delivered her. That is why I am praying this prayer: uh, curses of infirmities, and let it be break and be destroyed in Jesus' name. This video it is going to help thousands and thousands, thousands of people. People all over the world, they are suffering. They need their healthy. 2017, go with your full healthy. Be restored. Many, many, many people are suffering. People are, are sick. Children are sick. The God of Elijah will heal them by fire in Jesus' name. Eat us of flesh and drink of blood. I command you that your life is not your candidate. You will not be a victim. They will not drink your blood and, and, and eat your flesh in the mighty name of Jesus. I command every arrow of infirmity, a sign against your head. Every arrow of infirmity, insanity, a sign over your head. I command them to die. I break them in pieces. I destroy them in the mighty name of Jesus. Some people, they have, they have arrows. The arrows are sent to their head, and then they feel headache, severe headache, even you can die. When the arrows that has been fired in your head, that is death sentences. Sometimes most people, they get, they die, they don't even wake up. I pray by the fire, by the fire of God, by the thunder and the fire of God, let them fall upon you, let ever those arrows go back to the sender, in the mighty name of Jesus. Yes, Lord, my Father, ages of infirmity from your, from your, Agents of infirmity in your, your from from the food. You know, there's agents of infirmity from the food. Hallelujah. Amen. 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 Jesus. Hallelujah. God, God. God is good. There's agents of infirmity. Their work is to go to the food you eat. When you eat the food, you get sick. You get sick. You get sick. You, get sick, you can even die. Portion. The portion food. Food portioners. They call it food portioners. When they portion food, and you see food, everybody's eating, there's no problem. But in spiritual realm, they come and portion the food, and you have been eating the food before. So you wonder, it's not courage. It's not a courage. It. What is this? This food I've been eating before, it's not my first time, I have no problem. But today, what happened? You just feel in your stomach. You started throwing. You started going to the, to, to the washroom. Let me tell you, every essence of infirmities in the food, I command them to die. As the Christmas is coming, as this all day, many of you will eat. And that's when the devil is planning to portion the food so that he kill more people. In the mighty name of Jesus, every every demon every food demons that you will portion your food let them die let them lose lo let them lose the direction you might not believe this and after christmas go to hospital and see how many people have been admitted in hospital because of food the because of food i pray by the power in the blood of jesus let those demons or, or, or assign the agents that are assigned to operate in the food let them die let them catch fire let them be destroyed let them be rendered powerless in the mighty name of jesus yes god my father Amen. holy ghost fire recover all your destiny from the hands of the wicked in the name of jesus my father my father as david cry unto you so that today as we cry to you that father your time are in your hands your time is in your hands god in the mighty name of jesus deliver everybody deliver your people from every stress they are facing from anything they are going through 
all those witchcraft that is attacking them, all those witchcraft that is breaking their ways. Lord, Lord, my Father, their hands, everything is in your hands, God. They believe in you and they trust in you. Deliver them, God. Deliver them, Father. Visit them in a special way, my God. Every prayer request, wherever your people are looking for, what they are, they want, God, deliver them. Deliver them, my Father. Deliver them, oh God, my Father. They want to cut down your breast. Come in the mighty name of Jesus. Let it come and cut them and destroy them. Every oppressor that is oppressing you, let the word of God cut them into pieces. Let the fire of God set them fire. Let the fire of God destroy them in Jesus' name. Agi, agi. In the name of Jesus, weeping oppression of the night, weeping oppression of the, the night. You know, at night you go weeping, you are oppressed, you are tormented, you can't go to, to, to sleep. You, you Instead of your sleeping, you start crying, you feel pain, you start worried, you can't go to bed. You, because of sickness and tormenting, let it be wasted. Let it be destroyed in the name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus. Judgment of darkness against your life. I command them to die. I destroy them. I bind them. I render them powerless in the name of Jesus. Let God in, 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 increase and enlarge you in the mighty name of Jesus. You, you kill us. So every killer, every your killers, let them kill themselves. Anyone who wants to kill you and your family, want to kill your children, want to kill you, let them kill themselves. Let them destroy themselves in Jesus' name. In the mighty name of Jesus, you will not suffer what your parents suffer. You will not suffer what your parents suffer. You know your parents suffered so much, they died because they didn't know Jesus. All they know Jesus, but they didn't know the deliverance. They went to hell. They, they suffered with terrible pains, sickness, and diseases. It will not affect you in Jesus' name. Some people, they go a lot of pain. They suffer. They cry. While even they die, you see their faces crying. After the death, they are feeling pain. Let those pain die. Let them be destroyed. That what your parents suffered, you will not suffer in Jesus' name. In the mighty name of Jesus. Goliath of untimely death, it will not locate you. You know Goliath, he comes to kill you. He came to kill David, but David killed him. Every untimely, every un, un, untimely dead, let them kill themselves. Let them destroy themselves. Anyone that any the, the spirit of death and hell prepared to come and destroy your life, let go back and destroy their honor. When Goliath prepared to come and destroy Goliath, to, to, to destroy David and the, the people of the children of Israel, what happened? He, killed, he was killed in the mighty name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Yes. My God and my Father. In the mighty name of Jesus. Yes, Lord, we thank you, Father. Lord, I bless your name, God. I give you the glory. Every charm of infirmity, charms, charms. You know, there's some wicked who cast germs and they can bless even in the washroom, even in the, in the, in the roadway where you go. When you touch it, the charms will come and you get sickness. Let those charms die. Let them be destroyed. Let them bind it and render the powerless in Jesus' name. The germs are really there. That's why even the washroom, they put the, 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 the water and soap to wash your hands and, 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 and clean yourself. It doesn't matter. The soap and the, and the water does not kill germs, satanic jam. When it entered your body, does entered your body. It is on the blood of Jesus that will equip them, that will clean them, that will destroy them. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, Lord, hidden sickness, I command them to dis disappear. There is some hidden sickness you cannot detect. You don't know what's wrong with you. You are you are sick. You are going like like your mind is doesn't function. You can't even tell somebody what's wrong with you. You have no idea. You don't know how, what kind of a problem you are facing. There are some sickness hiding in your bones, hiding in your in, a, in your mind, hiding in your body, and you have no idea how it is. But in the mighty name of Jesus, as I'm standing around, as I'm talking right now, even hidden sickness, any hidden agenda of the enemy, let them catch fire, let them be destroyed, let them be rendered powerless in the mighty name of Jesus, in the mighty name of Jesus. Any organ of your body, presence on any evil altar, I, I command you to come out. Your organ can be an evil altar. They can place your, your, your organ in an uh, evil altar and now they, they lock that, uh, uh, that your organ in the evil altar. You cannot be healed. You feel people have uh, 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 heart diseases and liver diseases, kidney diseases. 
intestines, some organs, because the enemy has blessed their organs in the evil altar. I am speaking to you now by the power and the blood of Jesus. Anyone that is their organ has been blessed and evil order, let it catch fire, let that order break, let that order be destroyed, let it them die, die in the name of Jesus, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, my God and my Father. I want to thank you. I take captivity, every evil thoughts in your head, in the name of Jesus, blood of Jesus, clean every head, cl cleanse your head from every thoughts in Jesus' name. I pray that your head be delivered from every evil thoughts in the mighty name of Jesus. My God and my Father, in the name of Jesus, I take the authority by the power and the blood of Jesus. God, I want to thank you. I pray that your mind will receive the touch of, of God, the touch, the touch of the fire of God, in the mighty name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus, you will make life your life will, will move forward and you will never cry again you will never see you will never serve again you will move forward in the mighty name of jesus restoration is coming in the mighty name of jesus restoration 2017 it is a year of restoration in the mighty name of jesus hallelujah praise be the name of jesus my god and my father i want to thank you in the name of jesus christ lord hallelujah praise be the name of jesus oh yes hold the blood of jesus 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 Jesus, blood of Jesus, blood of Jesus, in the mighty name of Jesus. Restoration prayer, restoration is coming. Restoration for chronic, physical, mental, and spiritual disorder. Every spiritual disorder, I destroy you. Spiritual disorder, spiritual disorder, I destroy you. I bind you. I render you powerless. You will not be functioned. No weapon formed against you shall prosper. And this spiritual disorder in your life, I destroy them. I bind them. I render them powerless in the mighty name of Jesus. God, I want to thank you, Father. I want to bless your name. I give you all the glory. I give you all the honor in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, I pray that God deliver your people. Deliver them, God. Deliver them from the hands of the enemy. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, I pray. Amen. I want to thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much. God bless you. See you tonight, 9 p.m. 9 p.m. Periscope, uh, 9 p.m. Popcorn and Prayer Line. Tonight, today, tonight, 9 p.m. God bless you. I have to stop here. I love you, and there's nothing I can do about it. This is your host, Prophetess Dr. Christine Sigi, saying bye bye to you. Remember to go to our website, www.overcomersdhministries.blogspot.ca. Uh, also, you can reach me by calling this number. Hallelujah, 905-792-3798. God bless you so much. I will pray for you. If you are having uh, sickness and diseases, if you need me to pray for your family, make sure you call me. I will stand with you. And don't go with sickness 2017. Don't go with that pain. Don't go with the um, uh, 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 chronic diseases. God is able to deliver you. God is able to heal you. Your family, your children, God is able to heal you. Our website is overcomers, dhm at gmail.com. You can email. If you don't need anything to go with 2017, write them to me. Email them to me. Anything you don't want to go to go to go with you 2017, write them. Write them to me. And and also what you want 2017. How do you want your 2017? Write to me. Go to our email address overcomers dhm uh, at gmail.com. Email to me and God bless you. I love you. I love you. I love you so much, and there's nothing I can do about it. Thank you very much. God bless you. Have a wonderful time. Have a wonderful evening. Have a wonderful morning. In Jesus' name. Bye-bye.